Thanks again for checking out the Coding Fanatic YouTube channel. Head on over to CodingFanatic.com and join our mailing list for weekly updates on Android tutorials, career advice, and more. So once again, head on over to CodingFanatic.com and thanks for your support. Welcome back. In the last video, I at the end, I mentioned that I would explain a little bit more about, uh, about clicking clickable objects in Android. So getting right into that, when you have a button, you can click on that and it makes changes within the app. But buttons are not the only clickable objects available in Android. Let's have a let's take a closer look at the Android API for more information. So here in the the the, the view class, we can see that the some of the subclasses of the view class are listed here. So the one of the direct subclasses is the text view class, which you see right here. And one of the known indirect subclasses is the button class, which you can find right here. Right now, but what does all this mean? Uh, amongst the text view and button, there are calendar views, check boxes, keyboard views, all types of, uh, there's so many other things. So what does this all mean? Well, what it means is that a subclass it is, think of it as the child and the superclass is view and that's like your parent. So the subclasses, text view, button, and everything else listed here inherit the methods and attributes of the view class. One of, and one of which includes, let's just control F on click listener. So here there's a set on click listener method in the view class. And that can be used because that's a method of the view class, which is considered, like I said, the parent or super class that also extends to its children or the subclasses, meaning that buttons and text views can also invoke these same methods. But it, it's, it's, it's one thing to, to see it here for me to talk about it here on the website. Why don't I show you so you have a better idea of how this works. So the best analogy I can come up with is if you think about a motor vehicle, motor vehicle would would include things like cars, trucks, and buses. So in, in an, an, a good analogy would be that motor vehicles would be the super class or parent, and then cars, trucks, and buses would be the subclasses or the children. Now, motor vehicles are drivable, and by extension, but cars, trucks, and buses are also drivable. So the cars, trucks, and buses inherit, inherit those same attributes of motor vehicles. And the same way views are clickable and their children, buttons and text views are also clickable. But like I said, it's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to see it in action. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our red button from our previous clicking views project. We're going to update this so that it becomes a text view. And I'm going to show you how it functions the same as a button, or at least how it can function the same way. So. The first thing we'll do is open up our layout and we're going to change the tag here to text view. All right. And let's update the ID as well, just for, just for so that we can understand this better. So instead of red button, we're going to have it say red text view, right? And that's all the styling that we really need to do. This will render a regular text view with the text changed to red. And that's about it. Now let's head on back to our main activity.java. Here, in order to interact with that text view, we have to import the text view class. So import android.widget.textView. Okay, so now we have this class imported. We're going to update our objects here. So we're going to delete button red and we'll create a new object called text view and we'll say text view red. Okay. 
down here where we had once had a button, I said button red, we're going to change this to say text view red, which is the name of our text view object and find view by ID instead of r .id red button, we're going to change this to say red text view since it's the ID of the corresponding text view. All right, so change this red text view. All right, and last but not least, we're going to change this to say text view red, set on click listener, view on click li listener, and everything else is exactly the same because as I mentioned earlier, since a text view is a subclass of view, we don't have to make any other changes. As long as we update our, we import the proper class, create the object and make our changes here, then everything should be just fine. All right, so let's head back to Android Studio where we will now apply our changes to our app. All right, so changes have been updated. And as you can see, we still have our blue button down here, but our what was once a button has been changed to a text view. So it says change to red. And if we click on it, everything turns red and it doesn't up disrupt the functionality of this button. Everything else is exactly the same. So, uh, like I said, both buttons and text views are clickable. And now you understand why, how inheritance works a little bit more about how inheritance works with subclasses and why this text view is clickable. There are a lot of different changes you can make to your app using clickable views. But in our next video, I'm going to show you how to open a new activity with the click of a button, like an actual click of a button. Uh, so once again, this is your host, Richard Clark, signing out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and uh, check out the Coding Fanatic website. Join the mailing list, and you'll see updates on Android tutorials, career advice, and so much more each week. So once again, this is your host, Richard Clark, signing out, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace.